Blessings and welcome, conscious people of the planet. I'm Fahad from rawfruitarian.com. Guys, and today I am here in Ahmedabad in India. As you can see, this is India, roaring in its full beauty. And uh, I'm here staying in one of the hotels and um, just woke up a couple of hours ago and got some work done and I'm heading over to a fruit shop which happened to be right beside my hotel. So my hotel is right here and the fruit shop is, I'll show you guys, it's, it's just there. I don't want to cross while recording this, but essentially that's that. And uh, I wanted to show you guys all the fruits there are in this fruit shop over here in Ahmedabad. Um, it's not the biggest fruit shop in the world, but um, but it, it is a fruit shop, right? I don't know how rare or not it is, but to have a fruit shop which is right beside, look at that, look at that, people roar, people hung, people go crazy here, but essentially to have a, to have a fruit shop right beside, it's, uh, it's, quite, it's quite something. So yeah, let's go ahead and check out all the fruits in the tropical country of India. India is got, named as a tropical country. I didn't know. I didn't know before flying out here. And this is not my first time to India, but this is my first time to India as a raw fruitarian. Um, for all of you guys who are new on this channel, um, guys, I am a fully fruit eating man where predominantly 80 to 90% of the times I eat fruit. Fruit, fruit, fruit. And I fully, 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 fully believe that fruit is our natural diet is the diet and is the best diet that humans should follow if all the species on the planet have one diet you don't see a giraffe hunting nor do you see lions grazing with a cow all the species on the planet have one diet so why not humans and if, if and if it were to pick one diet of all the diets that we have that we have uh, cult, you know brought up grown up with and mastered over the years over over decades and centuries if there was one diet we all had to choose consciously it hands down is fruit right because um, fruit brings out the best 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 energy in you guys so anyways I'm here at the fruit place here and let me just show you real quick all the fruits there are without bothering many people here so there you go so there's some bananas um, some watermelons. Watermelons look like this, which is interesting. Um, it's, it's quite interesting how watermelons look. Um, I hope they're not gen genetically modified um, or GMOs. I'm gonna research a bit about that. Something that I'm super, super, super excited about is the papayas here. Papaya is definitely my favorite. Definitely one of my, it's in my top three for sure. I love papayas. I love how they have um, an incense right over a mandarin which is <laughs> which is hilarious um i'm not entirely sure what fruit that is this one right here it seems imported or it's coming from far that's hence the reason why it has this um but yeah like i said it's not the biggest fruit shop in the world but um it does have some fruits and um, and there are definitely some coconuts I'm gonna try out some coconuts for sure. Coconut is gonna happen for sure. And they have some sugar cane as well. Um, kids. But anyway, um, I'm gonna check out what I'm gonna have. And super excited. Uh, did not have much food. I, I, I didn't have anything since I woke up. It's just been water. And I feel super, super fantastic. I have a flight to the south of India today. Um, so I'm gonna stack up on fruits, I'm gonna eat some fruits and um, yeah, I'll let you guys know what, what these taste like, but papaya, papaya is what I'm, what I'm fully ready for. <laughs> All right guys, I'm gonna try the papaya here in India for the very first time, let's, let's try. The papayas that I have back home in Saudi Arabia are great, fantastic, super organic, um so so amazing so delicious so sweet but i'm really curious how these are gonna be thank you thank you so much to everyone and everything and me for bringing this amazing amazing papaya to life
May this papaya nourish me in the most beautiful ways. My mind, my body, my spirit. Thank you. Mm. 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 Different type of sweet. Still sweet, obviously, but different. Not a very intense taste of papaya, which I get back home. But this definitely has something which is still addicting. It's, it, papaya has an addictive taste, really. I love this fruit. Guys, another thing that I wanted to mention was that as I'm munching on my papayas, I love my papaya, I love my papaya. As I munch on them, I just realized that, um, at least here, for the very first time um, in my life, I, I, I'm not sure if I recall, but over here in India, I just went to the fruit shop right here, this fruit shop over here as you can see behind me. I go over here and I selected my papaya and I just asked them, is there a way that you could cut it for me and serve it right now for me, right? Ensure that there is no plastic being used for that kind of luxury or that kind of thing that I want. So as you can see, there is no plastic used and there's a toothpick to pick my papaya. So it's like a papaya pick now, for now. But anyways, um, I realized that this is more so like a restaurant kind of feel, right? Where, whereby I just go I, and I am getting my food served. I just have to obviously wait for them to cut, which is honestly in all, it's totally fine, right? So, so, think, so fr uh, from that standpoint, it does seem like a restaurant and I'm getting to sit here and just enjoy the vibes of uh, of India and, and, and just, you know, observe the traffic and this little doggy that is right here. Nothing nothing for him uh, in particular over here, what I'm eating. I don't think so. He is a papaya eater. Definitely not a papaya eater. But um, the point I wanted to say was that not a lot of restaurants even these days um, offer you uh, a, 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 a view from the inside. So in other words, you cannot pick your own food and then have it cooked. Very little restaurants in the world do that compared to all the restaurants there are on this planet. So over here, not only am, am I coming here, I'm choosing my own food. I am energetically accepting and agreeing to, to consume something that I, that I agree to put inside of my body, which is super, super important because if this not, if, if I don't consider this body as my temple, Right, uh, I, I doubt how I'm gonna survive in a great manner uh, without such a thing. So, when I walk in, it's really important for me, super spiritual for me, to walk in, select the food that I wanna put inside of my body and, uh, and energetically speak to it, right? So, that's great as opposed to going to a restaurant and just getting served with whatever they like to serve you, what they like to choose. I mean, that there, there's not, what, all I'm trying to say is that I have more control on my food over here as compared to over there. Oh, that is all I'm saying. That is all the point there is, right? And especially when it comes to meat, um, if it's meat, it's more complicated, more complex. So I'm super, super glad, super, super grateful to be able to have the wisdom and the understanding to be a fruitarian and this by large has has impacted me the most in my life this is the best thing that has ever happened to me in my life really there are countless of other things that were great that happened in my life but this was phenomenal because now i'm so much more in tune so much more centered so much more aligned and um, and guys honestly this is great. I love it and um, it's beautiful and uh, I enjoy this kind of living and I am more fulfilled, more happy, more content than ever before because what I put inside of my body pretty much determines the quality of your life, right? What you, what, the, what you put inside of your body is greatly going to influence how your life is going to be lived. Believe it or not guys, if you don't believe me, go ahead and try out a fruitarian lifestyle diet, a fruit diet where you're eating only fruit for just two days or three days, right? 
and also be part of some physical activities so that you're able to track your progress you're gonna see right away right away guys there are not many things that you can that you can see right away but fruitarian is one thing that or fruitarian diet is one thing fruit diet is one thing that you're gonna observe right away and if you have that ability to pay attention to your body and do some mindful observation on your body you're going to notice my friends I, 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 I am not kidding my friends you are going to observe beautiful things that are going to happen inside of your body in just the first two three days just the first two three days I'm not saying that you're going to break all the barriers and 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 be reborn and, and be fully healed and detox no not at all all I'm saying is that you're going to observe positive things that are going to happen inside of your body which is going to help you understand that this might just be it sticking with this long enough is going to give you the best quality of life that you have ever imagined all suffering and all unhappiness and everything um, can be can be reduced or um, or be eliminated totally I'm not saying this is the only way, but this is one of the biggest ways you could make a big change, positive change, positive impact in your life. And I really, really wish that happens to you. Um, and if you're already there without it, that's totally fine as well. You're doing great, man. I'm so happy for you. And I'm always rooting for you. And I wish you all the very best, obviously. Um, like and subscribe. Like this video and subscribe to this channel if you wish to. You don't have to, but I would greatly, greatly appreciate and it would help me immensely to reach out as many people as possible so I could bring this conscious thought process and a conscious living um, uh, to people for a conscious planet, guys. Again, I wish you all the very best. Please, please, please give it a shot. You will not regret and uh, I will see you in the next video, okay?